Latest news is, uh, you know, we have some updates for the show, taking a, a more intense direction. We're doing one episode a month. We're trying to push out different kind of content where we show behind the scenes. Some of it is on YouTube. A little bit of the behind the scenes is on the adult side of things. So you'll be able to tune into that. We're dropping our first uh, Purgatory magazine. It's not gonna be for the public. It's gonna be adult oriented. It's just a combination of metal meets playboy and it's shot in my way i have my own signature tori bell uh, we have ava they're going to feature on this first release hopefully the audience enjoys it and if you guys do then we'll put out more eventually it's going to have a price point i'm not too sure how much we're going to sell it for i think we're going to finish it in the next couple weeks people ask for purgatory merch and it's coming uh slowly but surely we're getting there um you know, little by little, because I have a bunch of other stuff I'm investing in. So, you know, I can't really go all out, but we hope you enjoy the magazine and uh, we hope you enjoy whatever we drop for Purgatory. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for being part of this whole experience. The following movie is rated R. Welcome to another episode of Purgatory. I'm Sarah Beth. I'm Stina. I'm Ava. We hope you enjoy the episode. Please make sure to like this video and comment below, plus subscribe to our channel. Now for the music videos. Carcinosis, Deliria, The Night of the Owl, Flat. Cranium with brain dead school fucking. Process invisible hand. Gut slits, altar of putridity.
Nine Dead with a silent practice. You say you can't be silenced! Cataclysm Dark Wings of Deception. Job for a cowboy, the agony seeping storm. Flesh with 211 slash 187 F F W A S. The Absolution Sequence, Persistent of Memory. Incantation, Invocation. <laughs> Sepulchral Curse, Onward the Legions. way with devour.
gaping wounds of Earth. Cannibal corpse summoned for sacrifice. Take it to a dungeon. Your altars have perished before him. Enveloped in fear and silence. Boys and legs are shackled. Awaking in the dark and cold. The time has now arrived. The set is an exterminated. Cryptopsy with Flay the Swine. Basement torture killings objectification. Crown Magnetar Nell Funeral. yourself spineless Thy art is murder, caress. Aku Phenom, Death, Chaos, Void. Atoll, the Simmering.
All right, so now we're getting into the masterpieces. All right, you start with yours, and then I'll do mine. Okay, I kind of have like a two-in-one. I have Cryptopsy with a Blasphemy Made Flesh and also None So Vile. the two because I really think they're produced very well and give an accurate depiction of what the band represents. Mm. And then I have Nail Bombs Point Blank. It's just one of the best side projects for Max Cavaletta and Alex Newport. They're just a great contributors for the scene and it's just a timeless album. I have Mything with Agonal Hymns. I love the fusion of the cacophonic mm. riffs and percussion. It gives more of a brutal experimentation. I'm totally here for it. And lastly, I do have a split. It's a very short split, but I think two great groups are represented here is Peeling Flush and Putrid's 2, uh, Ghetto as Hell.
guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> um, it they're just amazing. Both of them very like both groups are very talented, and uh, production skills on both ends are just like impeccable. I mean, they're just it stands out. And even though it's a nine minute split, I still love it. We're gonna start off with Disfiguring the Goddess with Sue. It's a brilliant recording and production. It has oomph, it has umami, it has udaddy. It's the burrito of souls. It's the crunch wrap of brutality, washed down with the Red Bull slushy. Next one is uh, Anatomia, Corporeal Torment. I mean, it's one of my favorite albums. Perfect for a human barbecue cookout. <laughs> All right, the next one is Flesh Megalith, Beneath the Rot. It's doomy, gloomy, and boomy. If you're getting dressed to do something illegal, this is the album to have on. Next is Cinerary Rituals of Desecration. <clears throat> It's the honey pack of brutality. <laughs> All right, stenched, gorging on mephitic rot. 
It's a beautiful, haunting masterpiece, simple, you mm -hmm. know. Dying fetus, grotesque impalement, the song streaks of blood. I was going to a school called SOGC and the SOGC was a school that it was hidden away from society. It was bob wired in. The bus dropped you off through a, a metal fence. You were walked into a portable with police officers, patted down. You had to walk through a metal detector and then another pat down and then you went in and there was like so much craziness. There was like kids in there and I was in middle school, high school, but this time it was high school and LimeWire was big at the time. Everybody was downloading all this you know, crazy stuff. And then I would down, I downloaded uh, Streaks of Blood and I would play it in the classroom and everybody would be like, just like, what the fuck is that? It's just such a grimy ass song. And it has like that, that- uh, As if they already weren't traumatized. Yeah, it was, <laughs> yeah. It was just such a, a, like everybody listened to, to rap. When I would play Streaks of Blood loud in the classroom, it, it would just freak people out. And I, I just loved it. It just, sounded fucking amazing it it takes me back to you know it has nostalgia for me when i hear it now it reminds what me a that great time. memory <laughs> last but not least it, it's just a bonus but it's the heralds of oblivion volume one compilation 1993 it's a cassette It's just an amazing tape. It, it's so dark. And, and there's a lot of bands you don't even hear about anymore. They're gone. It's a time capsule. Such a good masterpiece and nobody talks about it. I never hear anybody talk about wow. this one. So next we're getting into the albums that are, are good albums, but they, sh they could have been done better. They could have been recorded better. So we have Sarcophago, The Laws of Scourge. which is total demo quality for being considered an LP, which you think, you know, demo would have that type and then the LP would be more refined. But I guess for the time being, maybe the production quality there in like Brazil when it was made in the 80s. And then we have one of the pioneering bands of the slam and brutal scene is Internal Bleeding's The Voracious Contempt.
You know, I like again. It, if this was remastered, it just needs a little bit of TLC in mm-hmm, my case. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I love I the album. It just needs a little bit of work, but it's okay. Everything is great. It just needs a little tweaking on the sound. We're starting off with "Beheaded," mm-hmm. "Soul Dead." love the raw recording however it just it doesn't do the intensity justice it's like a monster like unleashed from a cave it's it's very primal it's a very primal album the second one this is probably my favorite i played this album so much it's the gore trade carnal split from 2001 problem was the recording. The volume was low and it didn't do the intensity groove and slam justice. Just the grooves and the slams were just so different and it hadn't been done. It was very playful to be honest. That That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, okay. it, was very, it was very playful but like in such 
a brutal way. Hell yeah. So they, you could tell they were having fun with it, but at the same time, they were taking it seriously. Next is albums that grew on us. So you start with yours and I'll do mine. I have God Flesh's Street Cleaner. Which, honest to God, I feel like an asshole for saying this. I mistook these guys at first for Godsmack. And I think that's oh why my I God. got Because God bless yeah, Godsmack God's similarities. Yeah. So, you know, without seeing the band picture and stuff, I assumed it was like almost the same thing. I am so sorry. Please don't fucking, like, please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, you know, and also being more of the industrial experimental groups, too. I, it kind of took me a little bit later in life to get into that genre because yeah. I... You know, you're used to like hearing something, you want the extremity, but now you branch out when you get older. And, um, you know, I wanted something like very upbeat, and I love the creativity of this particular album. And plus, with their new LP, Purge, it's just mm. it's fascinating. Yeah, you know? it's really good. And also with Cannibal Corpse's Vile. album was i was very much a cunt to not <laughs> appreciate like the after barnes era and like having to accept corpse grinder which amazing talent as well but yeah. um i was very stubborn at first to listen to anything with that catalog and then when i got into it i was like okay i like this guy you yeah know? so yeah. It, it helped a little bit more when i actually got to appreciate the album so yep i think a lot of us felt the same way about that album too because you know we were so into chris barnes and chris, chris barnes chris barnes and then yeah this new guy came from monstrosity and you're like okay is it gonna be as good and then yeah. he just killed it yeah it your insane. expectations were kind of like mixed feelings and when he did it i mean he he delivered i'm not gonna lie he delivered and then some so kudos there was a, a few sprinkles of people that were like anticipating and actually excited about it because they were aware of his catalog prior to um uh being on cannibal corpse mm -hmm. and then there was most of uh, the audience that didn't know about Corpse Grinder. First one is Bound and Gagged, Fornicate and Gutted. Yeah. 
the vocals turned me off at first, but now I could hear past them. Mm -hmm. So I still don't like the vocals, but just the band is just so talented and, and they're so brutal. I, I, I love that band. The next one is Dyscrasia, Septical Stomach Pumped Remnants. I love their demo sound more than this album sound, but now I have an appreciation for it. Like, you know, I was so married to the demo and just the raw sounding of it, the boom of it. Uh, they had a breakdown that had like a boom pad. It just sounded so good. I was like, man, and then when they came out with the album, it was a little bit more clean. And I was like, oh, it doesn't have that same hit. But now that I listen to it, I'm like, dude, this is this is really good. It's like, and I can't even find the demo version. Oh, shit. So I can't find the demo version anywhere. Last, we are getting into the band releases. Disfiguring the Goddess, The Brutal Machine. Dead and dripping with blackened cerebral rifts. Depth perception.
Defaced Untitled. Outer gods with a kingdom built upon the wreckage of heaven. Excarnated Entity, Mass Grave Horizon. Trocar Jesus Wept White Room Torture. Demon C with Diabolica Blasphemy. Jesus wept, attempts to assassinate thoughts.
Vomitrocious interdimensional depletion of demonic soul fragments. Calcanado with Atopsia Celestial. Molecular disembowelment, captive congealed aneurysms. Ripper echoes beyond the chasm. Chilled with Fupa Goddess <laughs> Gutter Rose.
Reverence to Paroxysm, Lux Mort. <laughs> MDMA Organic Resurrected Divinity with As Hell, Fumes, and Defeat. Miasma of Occult Limbs, Octavia Sermonia Putrium. Seven-Headed Serpent with Deafening Eruptions of Shrieking Chaos.
Petia Morgan Escape. <laughs> Ectoplasmorphous with Vortex of Possessible Flesh. Marvel of Decay, Virulent Remains. Decay, festering grotesque degrees. Art of Gore with Art of Gore.
Entrail Asphyxiation, Entrail Asphyxiation. Squalor with squalor. Rectoplasm with rectoplasm. I master transcend into the void. Legend with Mesanthropic Epiphany.
vibrations felt in the void, Wheel of Catherine. Trichomoniasis cerebral hypospadias. Gortopsy, odious emesis with split. human extract. Jin Ghoul Opulence.
and fibulated with unholy emity. Brujería, esto es brujería. HROB with HROB. Picardiectomy, exhumed, decollated mutilation. Cerebral slaughter with crown sin.
gorge, skinned and ground in a pepper mill. Dripped with rituals of the red sun. Mancuerta through skin, muscle, and bone. Coffin Conscripted Reality. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Bye.